Welcome to day three of Invigorate. Today it's full body Pilates, so we'll be working on our core postural muscles and sculpting the whole body. Now the integrity of Pilates is through slow, precise and controlled movement. So just keep that in mind throughout the routine and try not to rush ahead any of your repetitions. Stay with the mind and body connection and the breath work and really engage your core before every single movement with your shoulders down and back. This will help your technique throughout. All you will need today is your mat. So go ahead and grab that right now and let's get started together. First up, let's start standing on our mats. We're going to bring our heels together in a small V. There's a slight turnout. I want you to really pull the inner thighs and thigh muscles together and pull up tall through your center, lengthening each vertebra in your spine. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring the hands across the front of the chest and do a little Pilates squat here. Bend, lift, and then raise the heels. And down, up, and raise the heels. Abdominals are strong. Pull them in. Pull your shoulders back as well. Down, up and lift. Good. And down, up and lift. So as we're moving through these Pilates squats, or they're similar to plies if you've ever done those, we want to keep focusing on drawing our tummy in, of course, but squeezing the glutes. And lift. Really come up as high as you can onto the balls of the feet on that calf raise and lift, good. And five more here, and lift, and four. Keep your spine tall, three, and up, two, up, and one, and up. Really good. Now next one is going to be doing the Pilates squat with our heels coming off the floor here. So heels come up and then come up through that movement, down, and lift. I want you to really emphasize pushing your heels together strong, but they do come off the floor together here. Now what we can start to do is go lower, down and up. If you have weak knees, I do suggest that you just stay high here. Now another option, if your knees are not great, I'd like you to actually take your legs wide. That really helps if you have knee pain, okay? So that's a different stance here, the wide squat stance if knee pain occurs. Otherwise, stay here with me so we can really work those thighs and glutes down and lift. And then gradually getting lower. So I want you to focus on that control coming down and coming back up. Now, if you'd like to grab a chair to balance on or a wall to do these, feel free to do that. And up. As you come up, the focus is really pulling the inner thighs together working nicely into those muscles as well. Good. Remember, push the heels together strong. Down and lift. And down. Controlled and tall. And let's really get these movements precise. Balance your body. Work from the center. Down. Good and lift. Can you go a little bit lower? Five more, and squeeze up, and four, and squeeze up, good. And three, and lift, thighs working, and two, up, and one, and lift, very good. From here, I will get you to balance on the wall or a chair. We're gonna do our single leg kick back here for 15. Standing, abdominals in. Lean forward a little, bend this knee, and lift up to the back. 15, control. 14, point your foot. 13, squeeze your butt. 11, and 10, good, and nine. Keep that back leg straight, supporting leg bent. And six, good, five, four, and three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, change sides here. Let's bend that other supporting leg. Place the weight through there, extend the other leg, balance. Abdominals in and lift, 15, 14, 13, good. 12, 11, 
and 10. Shoulders back, nine and eight. Good, seven, six, five, four. Lift and three. Tighten your butt, two and one. Hold three, two, one and down. Excellent. From here, we're going to take the legs wide and move into that wide squat pose. Arms out to the side, come down through the center for 10 and up. So your knees go over the heels, nine. Squeeze up through the inner thighs and eight and lift. Seven, good, six, up, five and four. Arms strong and straight, three. Two, and one, hold it here. Bring your hands to your thighs, lift the heel, 10. Swap, nine, and eight, hold low. Seven, six, five, four, how the legs, three, two, and one, bend and lift, good. Let's bring the feet together here, take a breath. Stretch out through your arms and down. Let's resettle the energy. Move to the floor to work a little bit more now on our core, tummy and back muscles. So let's start with the knees bent, arms forward. Bring it to the floor nice and controlled for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now let the head relax into the mat, shoulders open as well. We're going to bring the feet to hip distance apart and then lift the right leg to 90 degrees. Keep your tummy and lift the left leg up as well and hold, keep the knees 90 degrees. Now the bottom part of the ribs have to be down. So let's push them down into the floor, but maintain a little bit of space under your back. Toe tap down, down and lift, swap and nine and eight. Hands here on the tummy to remind you to keep pulling in strong and six shoulders open. Five and four, good. Three, two, and one. Let's hold it here, arms to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, lift, be light on the floor. Relax as you lift. So we're being light through our vertebra. We're not digging our back down. Hold, three, two, one, and back, inhale. Exhale, draw the tummy in and lift. Hold, draw in the abdominals, three, two, one, and back. Now, if this is a bit much for your legs or back, or your hip flexors at the front, I want you to bring your feet to the floor. Three, two, one, and back. Inhale, control the arms. Exhale, lift. Three, two, one. Remember, it's about quality, not quantity here. Inhale, exhale. As you pull the arms down, really resist through the air. Three, two, one, and down. Legs up to tabletop if you can. And three, two, one. Really pull the belly in from those deeper abdominals. And lift, three, two, good, one. And back, inhale and exhale, lift. Three, two, one, and back. And lift, deep breath out. Three, two, one, and back. Couple more, lift and three, two, one, and back. Hopefully your core is starting to work nicely and lift, three, two, one. Now hold, extend the legs up straight and then bend them, 10 and nine. If your neck hurts, put your hands here, eight and down, seven and down, good. Six, squeeze the thighs, pull your tummy in, five, and four, keep going, three, and two, and one, hold, hold, and then bring it down one foot at a time to the floor. Be mindful here of your transitions to each exercise. Try not to collapse down, come down with control. Here we go into bridges, arms hip distance, arms apart and feet hip distance. Exhale, lift, squeeze into your butt muscles, lift, and back down for 10. Really dig your heels down. And nine. And down. And eight. And seven. 
Good. And six, keep your spine in the same positioning here. We're not tilting under or over. It's still neutral as if you were standing and you're uh, correct in your alignment. That remains here as well. Three and two. Good. And one, hold. Pulse 10, nine, eight. Dig your heels down, seven, six. Lift the toes, helps the glutes a bit. Three, two, and one down. Nice work, bring the hands back behind the head right now. Move your feet forward, bring your knees and feet together. Draw the tummy in. Exhale, lift, floating off the floor. Hold, tummy strong here. Turn to each side, 10 and nine. Do not strain the neck. Remember, let your head fall into your hands. And seven, and six, good, five, four, Come on, three, and two, and one. Bring it down, stretch the arms back for a moment. Take a deep breath in and out. And now this time we're going to do our oblique twist, 10 to each side, but the same side repeated. So let's start on the right for 10. Same side, nine, and eight. Hips and knees steady, seven, good, and six, Five, four, how's that going? Three, two, and one. Can really feel it down the oblique now. Lift and other side for 10. Do not move the knees. Nine, and eight, good. Seven, that's six. Come on, five, four, and three. Good, two, how are we going? One and down. Well done. From here, both legs straight to the ceiling, as straight as you can make them, shoulders open, arms down, single leg lower. Inhale down, exhale up, 10, and swap. Nine, control up, and eight. If it's a bit much at this point, bend your knees and do the bent knee toe tap, okay? And six, up, ribs down, five, Tummy in, four, shoulders open, three, and two, and one. Hold your legs straight, bring your heels together, turn them out, and then lift the chest, hold for 10, nine, eight, tummy in, lengthen your spine, chin off the chest, five, four, three, two, one, Bring it in, knees down and to the floor. Well done, pull your knees in, circle around a couple of times each way and back, coming up. Right now into our body lift here, so hands under the shoulders. Now bending the knees, we'll start here. If you do have sore wrists, I suggest turning the hands around. The position either outwards or back does help with this. Um, otherwise, if it's not suitable, you can go into a forward plank for a moment, okay? Lifting up. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, good. Now often this feels very tight across the front because everything we do is forward, therefore it's quite tight. So to do this, you're working the opposing muscles. Lift again for 10, and over time it will feel a little less awkward. Four, three, two, one, and down. Take a breath and lift. 10, squeeze the butt, lift, nine, eight, seven, hips up, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it down, well done. Up to hands and knees right now, abdominals in, hands under shoulders, open out through the fingertips, take a breath, and then exhale, belly in, nice neutral spine, extend one leg along the floor, other arm, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, nice and steady, six, Five, four, three, two, one, down, and bring it in. Carefully transition to the other side, extend the leg and lift without moving the hips or shoulder. 10, nine, squeeze your butt, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one, down and in. Inhale, exhale, let's repeat the pointer. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, steady, five, four, three, two, one, down and in. Really imagine that you're pushing and pulling against resistance. Other side, 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze your thigh, two, one, down and in. One more time each side, tummy in first, lift, 10, nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Down and in, swap. Inhale, exhale, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down and in, well done. Let's take the knees back and lower yourself to the floor slowly onto the tummy here and opposite arm and leg, swimming prep. So we've got our arms just wider than the shoulders and set your shoulder blades together, lift the chest, opposite arm and leg lift, 10, down and nine and eight. Stay centered as you lift the arm and leg. Good, and four, and three, good, two more, and one. Now let's repeat the same side for 10 for swim prep. One, two, three, four. Keep the, the back knee straight. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, swap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight. That's it, nine, 10, and down. Squeeze your legs together. Bring the arms to 90 degrees. Lift up, elbows come up, pull the shoulder blades in, 10, and lower, nine, and lower. Keep your tummy pulled in strong, and seven, six, five. Work into the back. Fantastic for posture here. Three, two, and one. Now hold there, single arm, 10, pull back. Keep the strength in the shoulder blades and eight, chest up, tummy in, seven, and six. Back extension, single arm, four, three, two, one, and lower. Well done, take the legs apart, hands under shoulders. Inhale, exhale, gently come up for a nice stretch here. Keep the glutes working, squeezing a little. And gently stretch it back. Good. From here, straight into a plank hold, we're nearly there. Lift and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, look up, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, one knee at a time. Kneel up, face the front, and now extend one leg to the side, this hand down on the floor here. 10 side leg raises, one and two. Control down, tummy strong, three and four. That's it, five, six, seven, eight. Shoulders open, nine. 10, hold, extend the arm, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Take a breath, recenter. Let's move to the other side here. Take the arm down and single leg lift, 10, nine, and eight, seven, good work. Six, stay strong through the torso, four, three, two, and one, extend the top arm, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down, well done. We're gonna to come to a seated position right now. Take both legs forward, arms forward as well. Sit tall, deep breath in and deep breath out. Reach forward, keep your arms up next to the ears. Good. And then take it to the floor slowly. Control three, two, one. Bend your knees, cross your right leg over, and let's come in here for a nice glute stretch right now. Take a few breaths. And swap sides. Good, push the knee out to the side gently. And let's pull the knees in, gently rocking forward and back. Lift the shoulders, lift the head. Three and two, coming up one, use the floor if needed. One, 
and take your leg to the side here. Reach down towards that ankle while this arm comes up and over, looking underneath the arm. Nice work, change sides, extend it out. Reach over towards the straight leg and this arm up and over. Good, take a seat, cross the legs, open through the arms, inhale, lift tall and exhale down. Now stay tall, stay mindful of your posture and your core muscles for the rest of the day. And great work, thank you for joining me today. Make sure you like, comment and share this video. Please post below that you've done this workout. Stay accountable to myself and our amazing community, uh, your friends here going through the same journey with you. So love to hear about that and hear about your progress. Any questions, post below and I'll get back to you. Do subscribe to the channel and see you tomorrow.